From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston. More people taking action down in Spring Hill as 3,000 workers now affected by the General Motors strike. Two days ago, GM cut the health care of workers, an act that uh, the county mayor, Andy Ogle, says is just plain wrong. Ogles is calling on GM CEO Mary Barra to restore health care for the workers immediately. At least eight people were arrested at the protest in Spring Hill today for blocking a road. A Fort Campbell soldier arrested and charged with vehicular homicide. Police say Danny Weld Ebanks was driving recklessly back in June when he crashed into a pickup on the downtown loop. The crash killed Matthew Kenningson, the driver of the truck. Weld Ebanks is being held on a $15,000 bond. Eight children found very malnourished in a Coffee County mobile home. Their parents, Alonzo Maxson and Andrea Arthur, arrested and charged with eight counts of child abuse or neglect. Deputies say a woman called police after seeing one child going through trash cans trying to find food and water. Deputies were let into the home and said the children, quote, appeared dirty, very malnourished, their clothes did not fit, and it appeared they had lice. With all this hot, dry weather, a number of Middle Tennessee cities and counties now issuing burn bans. And this September is on track to be the driest on record for Nashville. Some of the areas uh, turning to the burn bans include Nolansville, Dixon, Murfreesboro, and Smyrna. A full list of every city and county on our website right now, newschannel5.com. Here's Bree with the continued dry forecast. I say here's Bree without much good news for us. More heat expected this week and not much rain in the seven day forecast. So that means uh, the concern for burns, or at least for wildfires begin, uh, getting out of control quickly, that's on the increase as we head towards the weekend. 69 overnight tonight, 92 on Thursday is cooler than where we've spent most of the week, but only by a few degrees. It was 95 on Wednesday. We'll keep it in the low 90s to end the work week and upper 80s as you head into your last weekend of summer.